Good morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man. You didn't think I was going to forget about my uh, Sunday morning breakfast ride, did you? I'm going to straighten this up a little bit. I have been riding that uh, BMW K1600 for the last couple of weeks. And in fact, this is the uh, first motor vlog I've done on the Goldwing in probably two, three weeks. I don't know, it's been a while. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to one of Cruise Man's motor vlogs. For the last couple of weeks, I've been riding this uh, BMW K1600 GTL. And uh, actually yesterday was the first time I've ridden the Goldwing since I got back from my trip. I've been riding the BMW because I've been, you know, putting together all the information I need for the, for the review. But it's good to be back on the Goldwing. And I'll tell you, I uh, will be doing my K1600 GTL Goldwing comparison video. I know a lot of you are anxious to see that. There is a slight interruption, and that is I'm going to be going to Wingdink this week. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get my comparison video out and finished before I get back from Wingding. So, because I will be motor vlogging from the road while I go to Wingding. And uh, for those of you, uh, if you're going to be at Wingding, let me know in the comments down below. I will be, uh, I think I may have mentioned this in another video before. But I will be hanging out during the day off and on on Wednesday. I will only be at Wingding one day. <clears throat> and I will be there on Wednesday the 29th. Uh, my schedule is only going to allow me to be there one day, unfortunately. But I will be spending time at the trade show. And I will be hanging out off and on during the day at the Big Bike Parts booth. So if you are at Wingding and you're at the trade show on Wednesday, uh, you should be able to find me. I mean, there's uh, times when I'm going to be walking around the trade show and, you know, visiting with some of the vendors that I do business with and that I, you know, know from past. So if you're going to be there, I look forward to meeting you come up and say hi now's a good time for me to remind you if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already i'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe click that little button down below and if you don't forget that nav uh <clears throat> don't forget that little notification bell so that youtube will let you know when i come out with new videos so like i said i'll probably have a motor vlog video posted maybe tuesday night uh, I'll be riding down uh, to Wingding to Shreveport from Dallas. It's not a very long ride, maybe four hours at the most. And um, then on Thursday I'll be coming back and I'll do a little motor vlog on the way back as well. I'll tell you a little bit about what I think about Wingding, or at least what I'm able to see at Wingding. So I put out my BMW review video of the K1600 GTL and the video is doing extremely well. I want to thank all of you that have watched the video and supporting the channel by watching the video. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been quite a successful video and I think it, it tells a story. It tells me that there is a great interest on this channel for information about other touring bikes. And I'm surprised how many comments I've received from some of you who own a BMW in addition to a Goldwing. Not only do you own a Goldwing, you also own a BMW. Or maybe you used to own a Goldwing and now you own the BMW or vice versa. Uh, the general consensus is uh, on the review is that, uh, that they, I think everybody seems to feel like I, 
I did a pretty fair job. I tried to give uh, my best opinion of that bike. It's a very nice motorcycle. I still have it in my garage. They haven't come to pick it up yet. But the only other video I will be shooting will be for the comparison. And like I say, I'm just running out of time because of my schedule. I've got to be at Wingding on Tuesday, or leave on Tuesday. And I wanted to get this uh, video out. Hey, there's good news on the weather front. It looks like it's going to be a little cooler on Monday and Tuesday. So my ride to Wingding should be not quite so scorching hot. I think the high is going to be in the 90s. And we've had high, I think yesterday the high here was 103. Uh, it's very nice right now, it's 86 degrees. It's really, really uh, pleasant right now, this morning. It was like 80 degrees this morning, so it was very pleasant. I also have another product that I'm gonna be reviewing. I have a, actually have two products I'll be reviewing in the next oh, week to 10 days. One of them I think I'm gonna review during one of my motor vlogs. And it's a product I'm going to be taking with me. For those of you that have a GoPro camera, if you use a GoPro when you travel, uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be motor vlogging, but just if you take a GoPro with you when you travel, I've got a product that I'm testing out right now, and the initial test results are very, very promising. It's something that I think everybody with a GoPro should probably have. So keep an eye out for that i might review that on thursday coming back from my uh, ride uh, coming home from shreveport because i will have had a chance to use it uh, this product in a travel scenario i uh, also got a lot of good responses from you on that uh, that drain pan that i recently reviewed the tcmt drain pan low profile and uh, I got a lot of good comments. A lot of you already own that drain pan. A lot of you have ordered that drain pan. So I was pleased to see that many of you are happy with that. And you really like that. It, I like it. I think it's a neat product. I'm, uh, like I said in the video, I plan to use it again. I, I'll probably order a second one just so I don't have to, you know, every two oil changes take it in to have the oil drained. I'd rather do that maybe every fourth oil change. But um, it's a neat little product. I'm going to stop in here to the grocery store and do a, little, do a little grocery shopping for Sunday. I usually cook out or do something on Sunday, so that's my day to kind of cook. Sunday is my cheat day. In case those of you who don't know, I'm typically on a low-carb diet. And uh, during the week, I, I try to watch the carb intake as much as possible. I've been on a low-carb diet for many, many years. And Sunday now is kind of the day that I say, whatever I want, I can have. If I want to, this is my cheat day. So I usually go to the store, pick up a few provisions, and uh, I'm, I've even been known to eat ice cream on Sunday. We have a place here in Dallas now called Andy's Frozen Custard. And I have become hooked on Andy's Frozen Custard. Do you have Andy's Frozen Custard where you live? If you do, put, put it in the comments down below. And if you've tried it and if you like it, let me know. I'm going to park over here under this tree. Why not? also got the, uh, as many of you have seen the videos, I got the ceramic coating finished on this Goldwing. And I, so far, am super, super pleased with the results of that Avalon King ceramic coating. Uh, I mean, the, the paint now just really pops in the sunlight. Uh, it, it just, I, I'm anxious to see how much easier the bike is to keep clean. I haven't really gotten it dirty yet, but uh, I'm just real anxious to see how this all plays out as far as cleaning the bike. If there's any areas on the BMW Goldwing comparison video that you want me to compare certain features, certain characteristics, let me know in the comments of this video and I'll make sure to include that. 
I'm going to be going into a lot of detail on a lot of different areas, and, and my format is going to be, I'm going to say, uh, in this particular category, I think the BMW is better, or in this category, I think the Goldwing is better, and I'm going to be going through about 30 or 40 different categories, and I'm going to rate, and I'm going to be as fair as I can, here are the things I love about the Goldwing, here's the things I love about the BMW. And if you have a certain category or certain feature that you want me to talk about or you want me to give my opinion on, it's all based on my opinion, um, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to include that in this video. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. Remember, ride often, but ride safe.